significant number of injuries. I'm unaware of. Oh my God! Another another plane just hit the boat. Another something exploded into a gigantic oh my God. fireball. And I've ordered that the full resources of the federal government uh, go to help the victims and their families. And there, as you can okay. see, perhaps the second tower, the front tower, the top portion of which is collapsing. It is a day of infamy, 9-11. The Twin Towers of the World Trade Center coming tumbling down. Nearly 3,000 people died when hijackers crashed their jet planes into the upper floors. The official investigation concluded that intense heat from the crash and the jet fuel melted the support beams, causing the towers to collapse. But architect Richard Gage doesn't believe that. He is the founder of Architects and Engineers for 9-11 Truth, and he's here with us live. Richard Gage, thank you. Thank you, Hill. Now, Mr. Gage, what does your group really believe happened? Well, there's evidence to suggest that explosive demolitions have brought down all three World Trade Center skyscrapers, and we have now 1,500 architects and engineers calling for a new investigation based on this evidence, including the third skyscraper that most people know nothing about. This is a 47-story skyscraper that collapses at freefall acceleration straight down uniformly, symmetrically into its own footprint uh, just like a controlled demolition. And uh, what we're seeing now, of course, is the Twin Towers on TV. These come down at about two-thirds of freefall acceleration in a very explosive event, hurling eight-ton perimeter wall units at 70 to 80 miles an hour, laterally landing 600 feet away. We have 110 floors, each composed of an acre in size, 90,000 tons of concrete altogether, pulverizing in midair before it hits uh, the, the ground. This is extraordinary evidence, along with the chemical evidence of high-tech nanothermite composite explosives or incendiaries found in all the World Trade Center dust. But how then do you explain the attack on the Pentagon or the fourth jet that crashed in Pennsylvania thanks to those brave passengers who gave their lives? Well, we certainly want an investigation of all four hijackings because there's questions raised by the of the official story in all of these. But the architects and engineers are highlighting the specific evidence in these three skyscrapers because it's so clear that they're explosive demolitions. We have also found by USGS in all of this massive quantity of dust spread uh, like a 12 to 14 inch blanket uh, throughout the the, the uh, World Trade Center Ground Zero, um, that uh, they find uh, iron microspheres, this, the size of the diameter of a human hair. Billions of them, uh, by estimates, are found, and these contain the evidence of ignited thermite. There's yet, no other explanation but, for but, them. But now, but virtually every member of Congress, Republicans, Democrats, the White House, the FBI, CIA, have all dismissed your theories. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, now in custody, has boasted that he planned these attacks. If al-Qaeda was not to blame, then who was? Well, what we need and what the 1,500 architects and engineers that I represent are calling for is an investigation that is thorough, that uses the scientific method, that analyzes all of the evidence, including several tons of molten metal flowing like lava, the first responders say. Once this evidence is all analyzed, uh, we'll let the chips fall where they may. You know, we don't know who was responsible. We don't have conspiracy theories. What we want is a real investigation. So you may be proved right or you may be proved wrong, but it's certainly okay to ask the question. Richard Gage, thank you for being here. You're welcome.